worry. We're gonna make sure you get that job. Trust me, this is the best shot we've got at getting that request approved. And I can say that I've got some good news for you. I just saw the company message go out that you've been hired as Peter's assistant. <laughs> Congratulations. Not really, and neither should you. Either those applications were old and those people have moved on, or as soon as you disappear after this, they'll get to hiring again. They won't. I'll tell you a little secret. No one really cares too much. I'm not saying anyone's bad at their job, just that everyone's too busy and overworked to care. Seriously, no worries, mate. I've been here long enough to know how they operate up there. Next step should be easy. Just go to work for Peter, and when you get access to his terminal messages, you'll see my request. All you've got to do is approve that request, and we'll be right on with it. Then, we can get that new equipment and show corporate how it's done. yourself with a loose grip on your equipment when one of those particle detonations goes off. I'm a bit busy at the moment. Lots of business operations to operate and all that. Oh, you, you're finally back. I feel like you've been gone for ages. Do you know how tough this job is without an assistant? Ah, yes. Sorry for the confusion. I thought you were my previous assistant. Forgot about the new one, you. Anyhow, they told me you were a strong candidate for this job. So, I'm looking forward to seeing how well you do. Well enough, chit chat. Let's get to work. Not quite. I need you to do something much more important before you get to that. I'm expecting a personal shipment. I'm not sure why, but the last time this happened, my assistant ended up speaking to Governor Hurst about it. Now, run off and get it for me. What's in the shipment? A good assistant knows it's not their place to ask. Bad assistants get fired. Mediocre assistants get... You know what? I forgot where I was going with this, but it doesn't matter. Just get it for me, will you? Also, I don't quite remember. But it is important, that I know. I could, but we'd be wasting valuable time, so no. They cover nothing in orientation anymore. No, strike that. We got rid of orientation, didn't we? Anyway, it's not important. Your job is easy. You do what I ask, and that's pretty much it. I'm surprised you've forgotten that steer. All right, uh, no assistant. <laughs> I keep forgetting. I don't know. At first, I thought I had multiple assistants that rotated in and out, but... Uh, it seems I've only ever had one at a time, and they all just stopped showing up. I believe my last assistant was supposed to get me some coffee, but never came back. 
I honestly wasn't listening to whatever they were crying about. Oh, you're done? Right then, assistant. Let's see, have a good one. business with Governor Hurst. I see. Well, luckily, Governor Hurst enjoys visitors, and his schedule is fairly empty at the moment. I see no problem with it. You're very welcome. I couldn't be prouder than to govern the UC's first major space colony. Ah, hello. Welcome. I don't usually have time to speak with random people off the street, but I'd be happy to help if it's something quick. What can I do for you? Hmm. I can answer your general questions about Sidonia, but nothing venturing into politics. Sorry, but it's my strict policy that I only speak with select members of the press and major political donors who are serious about making changes for the future prosperity of Mars. Uh, <laughs> we don't use that word around here. I do take donations, however. Politics. You shouldn't be so surprised that money greases the wheels of the political machine. Even though I'm a UC-appointed official, I still need to rely on political donations to help me make decisions on how to allocate funds and resources to various lobbying parties. The money goes right back into the local economy, you see? If you have to ask, then I'm afraid you can't afford it. I, I'm sorry, I can't, but if you have any other questions about Sidonia, I'm happy to answer them. Otherwise, I should get back to what I was doing. Standard protections from the media and anyone who would go to them. I'm sure you understand. Sidonia's not much of a tourist destination, unless you're interested in humanity's first major colony outside of Earth. But if you're not here for work, and you're looking to kill some time, I'm uh, told the Martian surface is great for hiking. Beautiful scenery, assuming you like shades of red. If you're looking to kick back after that and experience Martian nightlife, the Broken Spear is as good a local watering hole as any. You mean besides being the most important city of industry to our proliferation across the galaxy? Well, this is the home of Demo Star Yards, which perfected grav drive technology and made honest to goodness space travel truly possible. And to this day, 
Our mines and manufacturing are instrumental in delivering resources used throughout the United Colonies. We may not outshine fancier cities like New Atlantis on its surface, but without Sidonia, there would be no United Colonies. Well, I've been appointed governor, what, going on 20 years now, I believe. Every day, I am passionate about serving the hardworking people of Mars. I look out for their interests, I support their prosperity, and in return, they help make the United Colonies a shining beacon of hope for humanity. If you ask me, there's nothing better than that. Well then, you've been quite busy making a name for yourself, haven't you? Heard of you? Of course, how could I not? So look, I admire a go-getter like yourself. You're not in trouble, unless you make trouble. And I don't think you're the type. I know you're not really Mr. Brennan's assistant. I don't know exactly what you're up to, but I have little reason to suspect you're up to no good. So let's cut to brass tacks. What can I do for you? Word travels fast around Sidonia. It's my business to know these things. Frankly, I'm not worried about you. As long as you play your cards right, it'll stay that way. Oh. I know exactly what happened to that shipment. However, I suspect Mr. Brennan neglected to tell you that I'm holding it due to his immense backlog of unpaid taxes. Then again, he may be unaware. Look, I'll tell you what. I'll release that shipment for you. But I'm going to need a favor first, since you seem to be adept at keeping quiet. See, my personal spacecraft was stolen, likely by Crimson Fleet pirates. I need someone to find it. Then I need that someone to destroy it. Discreetly. I need tight lips on this. Well, this is a tricky situation indeed. Not to get bogged down in details, but assuming this is the work of pirates, it's best to destroy the ship and everybody on board. Makes it cleaner for insurance purposes. Oh, it's a, a few reasons. I don't want this mired in their process. Also, it's a bit of an embarrassment for a sitting governor to lose a ship, so I'd rather that not get out. I'm sure you understand. Then we have an agreement. I'll send you to the ship's last known location. Remember, not a word of this leaves this room. I, uh, trust you to honor our agreement. I'm not asking you to understand my reasons for this. I'm asking you to do a job, and in exchange, I'll give you what you want. And in my generosity, I also won't be reporting you to your superiors or hauling you off to jail for your fraudulent activities. I assume you understand that much. Look, I got a ransom note. It was analyzed, and Crimson Fleet is the best bet. Everything fits their profile. I'm not gonna sit here and instruct you on the intricacies of piracy in the settled systems. I just need you to trust me and do the job I asked of you. Considering I don't really know you, I'm not sure how to answer that, but Sidonia is a beacon of industry. There's plenty of work to go around. If you have mining experience, you may wish to check with whoever the current Deimos mining director is, or maybe check with the Deimos Star Yard corporate office. If those aren't your speed, then there are a number of local businesses that are always looking for help.
Goodbye. Hello? Do you have business with Governor Hurst? Goodbye now.
you've got something for me? Hurst, 
paid us to take care of his problem. Of course, why destroy a perfectly good ship when we could say we destroyed it and keep the money, right? Unfortunately, by the time we found out the ship was broken down, our backup had already jumped, leaving us dead in the water until they figure it out and come back for us. No, I wouldn't expect you to understand. We plunder first, kill second. Some of us don't enjoy the killing part unless there's no other way. It can get uh, messy. A clever parrot can get what they want without spilling blood. Call me an enlightened prick. Just because we pulled the fast one on one of the most powerful men in this system? No offense, my friend. But you small potatoes, I can respect that you're just trying to do a job. And frankly, I like the cut of your chip. Truth is, you've got no reason to trust us, nor we you. But there is more of us than there are of you. So I'm feeling confident in my decision.
sure hope you've taken care of our little uh, problem. It's good to see you. I'm eager to conclude our business together. Did you uh, take care of my little problem? I'm already giving you what you want, per our agreement. Hmm. Tell you what, here's a little extra to keep you happy. But you should know, if I hear any rumors about this, I'll know exactly who to hold accountable. Don't get greedy. I'm willing to resolve this amicably. I suggest you do the same. Hmm. I see how it is. Tell you what. Say you really do have this alleged note, and we're thinking of using it against me. If you're so inclined, I'll take it off your hands instead, and compensate you far more than releasing Mr. Brennan's shipment of goods. Then you and I part ways and never speak of this again. Do we have an understanding? Come on, don't make me have to explain it to you. <sighs> Private security leaves a paper trail. Obviously, that's not a good look, so I had to go where that's not a concern. Hence the pirates, hence you. Got it? Now, about that note. You know, you're supposed to destroy the ship, not board it. And even though I don't take kindly to blackmail, you're making the right move by agreeing to keep this matter under wraps. The way I figure, no one will believe you without proof anyway now. So with this exchange, we'll see to it the real story stays between us. Now take Brennan's package and your compensation and get out of my damn sight.